Hey guys and gals, Malkuth 1974 back at you. Another episode of Asteroid or Bust. We are over Kerbin in the International Space Station, or my version of the Kerbal Throw Together International Space Station. Coming up with a new plan to get to an asteroid. And I've come up with an idea that saying that uh, for the series that the basic goal of the series, which we didn't quite specify in the last episode, will be to actually get a certain type asteroid, a class E asteroid. So, last episode, we didn't get much of anything but a crater in the moon because we kind of blew up. So this episode, we still need to practice before we actually get an asteroid. So we're going to launch and capture a smaller ap asteroid in the next few episodes. And hopefully not crashing the moon in the process. So I'm just up here making sure that the only Kerbals that I actually have in space are still safe because we are using TAC life support and we need to make sure that he has enough food, oxygen, and water to survive. It looks like he'll be all set for the next couple couple, uh, couple of years actually, but we never know. Let's go back to the Space Center. A little while ago I actually released, uh, released a new version of Mission Controller Extended which allows you to actually make your own arm mission. So in this episode that's what we're going to do. We're going to make an arm mission. We're going to launch to that asteroid capture it. But first I need to actually find an asteroid to actually capture. So let's see. This one... doesn't look like it's much fun so I am gonna actually stop tracking that one I got that one let's see this one is a class class C and it looks like it's actually gonna be captured by Kerbin. Up here, yeah. So, hell, that looks like a good one to me. I don't know about you guys. But the asteroid name is YP0917. So if we go to the mission controller contracts, we gotta go to user contracts. And we're gonna make a practice mission. Yeah, so if you guys have noticed my my keyboard's a little bit loud. Well, uh, yeah, it's, it is a little bit loud. It's a mechanical keyboard. I got this for Christmas. It's one of the new Razer keyboards. It glows in the dark, has all these cool little colors to it, and the mouse to match. So, yeah, it's a little loud, and I do apologize about that, because technically all the recording stuff is right here over everything. So, not much I can do about it. Uh, I'm not like a awesome... YouTube recording artist that has, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy quiet systems and all that stuff, so yeah, it's gonna have to do, I guess. Uh, let's get a test mission going. Does the vessel have crew? In this case, we do not have a crew. Uh, the gold type, so the new uh, capture mission goal is the last one. It says asteroid capture. And we want to find a name now. So we're looking for YPO 917. There it is. YPO 917. So we're going to just set this arm mission up. And we're going to load it back up. And it's going to say test capture already. <laughs> Test asteroid capture. Let let's get a test mission going. No crew and capture asteroid AST YPO nine one seven. 
which is all we really need. So we're going to actually send this out for bidding for a company can pick it up, load it back up, and we're going to get paid $528,000, which is actually pretty good for a custom contract. Now the custom contract, our missions actually do pay out a little bit less than their counterparts in the random contract mission, and that's just basically to balance out the whole you can just make these missions anytime you want aspect of user contracts. So, we're all set. Let's get this show on the road. ASTYPO917. And we will load our baby from last time. Same asteroid, same asteroid channel, all that stuff. We're going to make no major changes to this, so I'm just going to get right to launching. Actually, one thing we do need to do, or we do need to make sure of, is that asteroid YAST, or whatever the hell it was called, YPO, is actually going to be okay. So where does it get captured? Encountered. 43 days. I should have actually have done this a long time ago. Okay, guys. I have an encounter at 13 hours and 4 minutes. I would actually like to know where this is going to land, but it's really hard to tell because... Well, it doesn't really tell you much. I'm wondering if I should just let that get its encounter for I know where in Kerbin it's going to actually happen. Oh, crap. There we go. You know what? It actually looks like it's going to become quite close to Kerbin. 174. I'm almost betting I can... We are going to lose it, though. It is going to escape, but it's going to come very close. What kind of angle are we at here? That looks like it's almost at a 30 degree angle. It's going to be here in two days. All right, we're just going to launch right now. Get this launched up. Get this set. I will get this in space. And I will see you guys in a minute. We don't want to go through all this stuff again. We've already seen this baby launched. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll watch it for a second. I'm just wasting time. I'm talking too much. How can you talk too much when you're doing a video like this? I don't know. We don't need to go this fast. But I'll meet you guys in space once this baby gets up there. There we go. I think I got a pretty good intercept of him. It's hard telling, not knowing. Four point eight kilometers. Can I get a little bit closer? One point five. Took a bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of uh, maneuvering, but we got there. So here we go. We got nine minutes until. Our target is ready. Do some quick saving here. We're gonna fast forward, and this is about 468.9 milliseconds. It's not giving me an estimated burn, which really sucks. But I'm pretty sure this thing can burn that off in other under a minute or so, less than a minute, probably like 30 seconds, maybe even less than that. So. We will start the burn. I'm gonna I'm gonna guesstimate at 20 seconds. I hate it when this thing doesn't update. A 
little bit off, but oh well. There we go. That's good. I do gotta get these to come out though. Surprise I didn't lose power. actually lose up there so we definitely need to make sure we get our intercept as quick as possible would we'll go around Kerbin well wow, this is the problem I thought we were going this way uh oh And here we go with another damn crash. Right? This is costing us quite a bit of energy. And I'm going to lose my solar panels. No, we'll come back up. Alright, I'm going to have to fix this. Try to get my periapsis back up because that asteroid is actually oh he's right there we'll meet him we got it we got it I'm gonna have to fix this going to have to fix this <gasps> we're gonna have to fix this not quite sure how but I'm gonna fix it fourteen point two Maybe give it a little bit more. 5.6. There we go. 28 seconds. This is a 4 second burn. This thing will literally burn that off in about a half a second. Or four seconds according to the little cheat cheat down here and ah. there we go we are six off it's gonna be right there in a second Here he comes. We're looking for the orbit readout to switch to target. That way I'll be able to uh, match his, uh, his orbit. We are about 55 meters from him, 40, 36, 27. And he's at target now. He's coming quick, so we need to match his target here. I'm gonna go to... Why is that reading like that? There we go. I actually lost him already. Where the hell did he go? Did he go by that quick? Do I have... Uh-oh. This isn't good. This is not good. I will try to match his target this way, I guess. How the hell did he go? Oh, because we're going basically the opposite way. 
I launched in, see, I launched in the wrong direction. This is going to be an expensive maneuver because now I have to basically turn around in space. Yeah, there ain't no way this is going to happen again. Again, I have screwed up because... I fail to read which way the asteroid is going. And there ain't no way you're going to have enough energy to turn this around and curve and gosh darn it all. So, so, so insane. Oh, it's a pretty ship, but. If you guys haven't noticed, I am actually very new to intercepting asteroids, and it's not going very well. But we are Kerbals, and we do screw stuff like this up all the time. Yeah, there ain't no way I'm going to get this turned around. In time to capture. So, we have yet again failed to capture an asteroid in this game. If you guys don't know what's going on, um, basically, the asteroid came in an opposite direction of Kerbin. Instead of going, usually when you launch, we always launch, you know, going a certain way with Kerbin's uh, movement. And I launched in that normal way that I always launch, where everybody launches. But what happened was the asteroid came down and is actually in an opposite orbit of me and is actually going to get thrown out. So when I tried to intercept him, he was going by way too quick. Now, normally, this wouldn't be a big deal because if he was farther away, I would have had enough energy to slow down and capture, cap, uh, recapture him. But since you're basically traveling at such a high rate of speed, so close to uh, the uh, Kerbin's orbit or in Kerbin's orbit that I have to break that speed, then add the speed back that I just broke, and this vessel has nowhere near that amount. Now he's on a basically an escape trajectory out. So, you know, the biggest thing, you know, I guess doing the videos I'm trying to capture this I'm kind of, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible and keep the video short and I'm not paying attention to the little details of what needs to be done but in all reality I should have I should have launched in a separate going this way around Kerman instead of going this way and I probably would have captured him just fine but yet again we've missed an asteroid capture we need to come up with a system, or uh, the developers need to come up with a system to tell us where this asteroid's coming in. Uh, 
yeah, we waited until, you know, it actually got it, we got the actual, uh, curb and intercept and it showed us which way it was coming around curb and I probably should have, you know, noted that and, you know, made plans, but I didn't and I failed. So, as always guys, this is Malkuth 1974 with yet another failure to capture an asteroid. Wow, I freaking suck. But anyway, this is Malkuth 1974. Hopefully next time we'll capture an asteroid. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? This is really bad luck. Oh, yeah, it's bad luck. Malkuth out. <laughs>